No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. Today brought to you by our lovely sponsor, Bear Woods. We're doing the Zillakami interview today. Much, much requested. People have been asking for this for well over a year now. How you doing, bro? I'm doing good. Out here. You left New York finally. Yeah. This is, this is the third time I left New York. Third time you left New York or third time in L.A.? First time in L.A. Really? Wow, yeah. I didn't realize that this was that rare. Is this your first day or is it second day? This is my, when do we come here? Monday. So this is my fourth, fifth. How you, how you, I guess I always ask this, but how are you enjoying it overall? It's just lit. There's mad niggas out here. And nobody's, I don't have to fight all the time. So it's lit. So Brooklyn is still like that for you? It's still like you're in the fucking Newsies or something? You're just like fighting in the no, street all the time? it's not like the fucking Warriors. But <laughs> That's what I was trying to think it's of. Like, <laughs> it's like some shit like... Oh, that nigga's looking at me funny, and I'm not in the mood today. And there's a million niggas outside already, and it's hot and sweating. Mm -hmm. And and I'm with my bitch, so now I have to fight. You feel me? Like, when you got your girl with you, you always got to fight in the streets because somebody's always going to say something stupid. Yeah, that's one of the things. They know it. You know, you when you're with your bitch, and you have to like. Yeah. I have to be staticky right now. <laughs> staticky. Yeah. That's a good way to describe it. Yeah. You'd be like, yeah, it's in the air. I have to ignite it. No. Yo, I swear that shit goes away in LA. Like I remember that in Boston and New York. It was it was that kind of vibe where like you were in the bar or some shit, you could just get in a fight over whatever. In LA, it don't feel like that should really be happening. Even in the fucking skate parks. Oh yeah. You be in the skate parks and niggas would be fighting over past blue ribbons. <laughs> like why? Niggas fighting over Colt forty five. Nickel bags and shit. Yeah. Skate park is like how you get like ready for prison as an adult. That's how That's they get you fact. ready for prison. Because they got the cigarette economy there and shit. That's a fact. That's a big fact. Mm -hmm. Right near the fucking skate shop is a, a liquor shop. So. Yeah. I noticed that, that the skate park and the and the jail have a lot in common. It's anyway. a whole little community, like a whole like caste mm -hmm. system. Because it's just the bad kids. Like, go to the skate park the same way like the bad dudes end up in jail. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly <laughs> what it is. There's a few small differences, but yeah. All right, so you want to introduce us to your crew? All right, this is Sos Moolah. You know Sos Moolah. That nigga's on all the songs. Mm -hmm. That nigga's City Morgue. There's only three members. Facts. Me. So. And then we got Righteous P. Yeah, CEO. Know. He owns the Cariocha label. We be out here wilding the fuck out. We about to have the best <laughs> artists. Yeah. We gonna be the new Cash Money. You yeah, feel me? I'm, I'm half of, of Hikari Ultra. Shout out my nigga Mel. You heard? And then we got, we got Thrax. Thrax home right now. Mm -hmm. But he's from here. He's from. He yeah, couldn't. I don't okay. want to get Chad to make the yeah, jeans. Yeah, shout out fucking Chad. He's basically the stylist. Right. Yeah. The stylist. You guys go heavy with the fits. So OD. You, you, <laughs> OD. <laughs> we out here. We the best dress. That's lit. So how long you guys all known each other? That's my little brother. Okay. I know him my whole life. And what are, what are the ages? And um. Y'all niggas can say your own ages. I'm not saying oh, yeah, ages. yeah. Everybody's just going to say 300. For L, you you guys fucked up. You didn't say 300. I'm 19. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys are ready to be real rappers. You didn't say 300. That's yeah, like kind of a rule. You got to say 300. Bendy, right? <laughs> Everybody does that. <laughs> anyway. Um, all right. So let's talk about like sort of the upbringing and stuff. Like to, like growing up in New York, did you, did you grow up in New York or did you move there at some point? I grew up in uh, Long Island. Okay. Near, uh, I'm like three blocks from the mobile park, which is in Bayshore. So that's one of the skate parks? No, nah, that's a trailer park. Oh, okay. So I used to like chill over there. <laughs> <laughs> the mobile <laughs> we're park. Getting, we're getting different now. <laughs> well, I used to chill over there. At the at the trailer park? Yeah, my homie lived there, Dom. A lot of people wouldn't even know that Long Island had trailer parks. It has a lot. I heard Malibu has trailer parks too. I guess they, they do them everywhere. Yeah. It's like it'll take the poorest town and be like, "What's the biggest little trailer park here?" It's cheapest, right? And then you know, it'd be like just far enough from the school where there can be a little bit of pedophiles. So it's just like a <laughs> dangerous area. <laughs> that's a must yeah, for the trailer park. A little pedophilia in there. Okay, that makes and sense. I guess that's the the, the ecosystem little, is maintained. Yeah, some rifles in there. Right. Oh, because you can't have a gun near the school, right? Yeah. Like Not even in your house. Shoes. You can in your house. You can. Long shotgun Island, you can, you can you can have like shotguns, rifles, eighteen. It's know? not as strict as it's in the license. city there. In the city, you're not bringing that shit anyway. Right. Yeah. That's a weird thing when you are in New York, New York is that you're always kind of thinking about like 
is like the the odds of someone pulling up and shooting you seems a lot lower in New York than in LA. That's a fact. So it kind of changes only, how you think about shit. The thing is, if a nigga has a gun and you don't have a gun, you just gotta fold. Right. So that's a whole difference. It's an ugly situation to me. I feel like, like in New York, if you see somebody with a gun, he busting that shit. That's a fact. Yeah. He already don't care. Yeah, because he's risking it just bringing out the crap. He's using yeah, it. There's cameras everywhere in New fact. York. Yo, like, Stop and frisk getting, all that shit. I know, still mad, getting shot. I know mad niggas who had like guns that they never brought out the house. And then like the one time the nigga brings it out the house, he gets booked. Like, a year. Man, <laughs> like two. Two, you get two. What is it? Don't you get a year for a bullet? Nah, that's how it used no, to be. Like you cool get caught with your first gun, you getting like New York, you getting like three. Yeah, for <laughs> if real. You got a record, you're getting like five, mandatory, seven. Mandatory, mandatory two, right? Yeah, like yeah, it's like a mandatory two. Like that's if you gotta pay. You know what I'm saying, pay a lawyer, all that dumb shit, whatever. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, New York. Basically, you ruined your life. Yeah, you yeah. Having a fucking gun. So if you're gonna be on that shit in New York, then you are officially like you're you're ready for whatever. You're yeah, ready to go to jail. Right. Ready to go to jail. Anything. On that shit, you feel me? Yeah, yeah we, we really like, on that shit we too. We got raided and shit. It's just crazy. You you got your house raided? What? Because of the videos and shit. Everything. Uh, Instagram. Yeah, it was just like and them niggas was in there like yeah you yeah. some yeah it was fucking somebody snitched so so the, they raided you guys because of guns. Yeah, they were looking for guns. They didn't find anything? No. Nah. That's nice. They didn't they find anything at all? Crib. They, ra they raided my crib and his crib the same day, but he was at my crib because we had to go to the studio in the AM. So they kicked in my door. like but They kicked in his door the same day, Allah, whatever. Right. Yeah. And But he in my crib, though, so it was like they caught both of us, you know what I mean? <laughs> but that shit wasn't about nothing. They didn't find shit, you feel me? They just raided our shit because of the videos and Instagram. Right. Like, them niggas was Damn. dumb, like... Like happy when they ran in, like yeah, we're gonna fuck it. Like where's and the lean? Where's the money anything, machine? And it was just like they were asking about lean too. They was asking yeah, about price and lean and a money lean machine. Lean and a money machine, like it's illegal to have a money machine or some shit. It is. But it is. I guess yeah. Well, maybe. You can order them shits on eBay. Yeah, it's fucking not illegal. They're just being retarded. Damn. And like the hundred thousand dollars. If I had a hundred thousand dollars, you are not taking my shit. <laughs> you feel me? You like, wouldn't just have it sitting under the bed. Yeah, like I wouldn't have it just chilling out. Right. Was there ever a uh, like a rocket launcher controversy or something? That's why, yo, they came in, they were like, <laughs> where the fuck is the AT4? <laughs> and I was like, I barely even know the name of my shit. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was the rocket launcher real, though? Because I, I, I heard about a rocket launcher. Yeah. It, it was it real. Was Someone lit. had it. It was lit. Yeah. yeah. It was cool. Someone had it. Did yeah. you ever launch a rocket? No, no, we did not launch any rockets. I don't even know how they shoot no yeah. rockets. Yeah, it, it, it had instructions on it though. Wow, of how I, to like put it? You probably look it up on YouTube and shit too. Yeah, I know it was the first one I had was a one and done. So you just use it one time? Yeah, <laughs> firework. Yeah, basically. Wow. You're using one, but you so. could buy the shells too. Like mm -hmm. after you shoot the shit, it's for sale. You just have an empty ass yeah, fucking yeah. training you rocket can hang launcher. You shit up on your crib. I think yeah. if you kill someone with a rocket launcher in New York, you're probably not getting away with it. I feel like you're definitely you're you're getting, definitely away getting away caught. Niggas ain't yeah. niggas is getting not getting caught when they shoot somebody. Niggas is getting caught. The the, dude, the dudes who shot at Chief Keith, they didn't catch him. I don't think. Nah. That's in the middle of Midtown, like right in Times Square they or some shit. Nothing about that shit. Yeah. No. Okay. Well, but I'm just saying that shit's crazy. That like normally if somebody fucking shoots somebody in the middle of Times Square, they're getting caught right away. I ain't heard. Yeah, you gotta be a stupid motherfucker to do that. That's crazy. That's yeah. a fact. I'm still dude. fascinated by that one. All right, let's let's talk about like your upgrading though. What high school did you go to? Like what area did you? Grow where? How'd you make the move to Brooklyn? Well, Bayshore, Bayshore, Bayshore. I was in there, and they was like, I played football there. I did everything there. Uh -huh. Like basically, that's where I grew up. There was like a whole bunch of other places, but. I, I jack Bay Shore, you know what I'm saying? Like right. that's where I was most of the time. And he moved out the house like sixteen. Yeah, I was a yeah. young man. I'm, I'm I'm not from Bay Shore though. I'm from like the other side. So I moved out. He was like, I moved to Atlanta. He was like by himself mm -hmm. pretty much. Yeah. So I'm Bay like Shore, the, like right considered... now. I'm like re meeting my little brother. You feel me? Oh, okay. Bay Shore like considered like the white trash here. And where he was from, CI, yeah, from CI that's the it was hood. like the hood yeah. niggas shooting and shit. Right. And then like there was that bouncing back and forth from CI Bay Shore, and then he moved to Brooklyn when he was like 16. Uh huh. Nah, I was a little older. Probably. Oh, 19. you moved to Atlanta. Yeah, I moved to Atlanta. Atlanta for a couple first. years. Yeah. Now, probably like 20 or some shit. 
I moved to I moved to Bushwick. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And so then you just ended up moving out there too. Yep. Nice. Well, I didn't really move out there. I just kind of just started staying out there for like like days at a time. What, yeah. what like was just that? Just the fact, like I was ghostwriting for Six Nine. Oh. And at the time, like I was mad busy. I tattooed. I was ghostwriting for Six Nine, and I knew he was. I didn't even know he was that nice, but I knew he was better than me. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, yo, bro, you can help me, like with the whole. I, I knew Six Nine for like, I was working on him for like six years. I mean, mm-hmm. I met him in the corner store. You like, met him at what age? For for you or what year? Damn, this was six years ago, like uh-huh. today. So I met him. I was with, I was with my men's. Um, I worked across the street tattooing. I met him. I just heard like his, the cadence of his voice. Mm-hmm. I was like, damn, that, that's dope. And I know like Hispanic people is taking over the United States. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's not or a rap, bad, not but rap. It's like you got low pump. Yeah. You know, I mean, there's nah, like a lot of Hispanic people. Think about it. This is Spanish years. Years. Cardi B. Right now. This is six yeah. years ago. Yeah. Six years ago, started yeah. starting to seem like that kind of maybe then. Yeah. So I, I just seen it and I, like I really jacked, bro. Like I liked him as a person, all that. Know what I mean? So I'm like, yo, you bro, you should rap. Know what I mean? And we mm-hmm. just put it together. But then I needed help, so I called my little bro. Like, yo, bro, you can help. He he came on board. You feel me? So the early videos, like I remember when I met him, he was showing me videos and like you were in the videos and stuff and then your name wasn't in the title. Were those the first like songs or videos that you guys did together or how did, was that how you got into rap was through fucking with him and 6 9 and shit at first? Well, I was just writing for everybody and I was just like, I was writing songs where it should have been two people. Uh I would write like back and forth. Like I'd write like a four that was like, and then I'll write a four in a different flow, and then a four, and then a four. And I, like, will put it together, and I'd be like, this would be better if one person was talking gangster shit, and then one person was talking cryptic shit, and then gangster shit, and, like, a back and forth. Wow. That's how Helsing was. I wrote it like that. And I was like, I can't have one nigga just saying this, because it's supposed to be, like, a conversation. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I have to rap this other part. How'd you even figure out that you could, like, write for other people? A lot of people don't even know that that goes on. Well, I wrote I wrote a whole bunch of songs and I didn't like, I didn't I was, was like looking at myself like I'm not cool. Like, <laughs> you, you didn't have the saying? confidence yet. Yeah, it was just like I'm not I'm not for the camera. And then it kind of like when I got on the camera, I looked at myself and I was like, oh shit, I can actually like do this. But I wasn't even like focused on that. I was really like, let's get this nigga lit. And then when he's Being lit, a part of something. yeah, when he's lit, we did we made like a chapter. You know what I'm saying? How did you yeah. even start writing for him, though? Because, like, normally young rappers in New York, they're like, to, the idea of having somebody write your lyrics would be kind of looked down upon, right? Well, he didn't know how to rap until he started writing for him. So, it, you know what it was? He wanted to be, like, a superstar, and he had the star quality. So, yeah, yeah. if you want to be a stu- superstar, like, you don't care, bro. Yeah. You don't give a fuck. Do you think 6 9 embarrassed about having other people write for him, even though I feel like a lot of people kind of know about it at this point? I don't know. Nah, I don't think care. so, because, like... Maybe, like, if this was, like, the 90s, mm. he would be like, damn, because it was, like, when keeping it real, it was like, you have to keep it real, you got to write your own shit, but, like, you hear niggas like Drake, mm. I mean, it's more like, how am I going to be the best artist I can be? That is That's definitely it. Yeah. It's not about being the best lyricist, it's about just being Even the biggest like, artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> Rap has changed, for sure. And we know, like, niggas have, like, a three-year, a three year, like, little window, mm-hmm. like, get the most out of it, and, I mean, yeah. whether you had like, ghostwriters or not. Look at Cardi B. Like we we know. Yeah. But that's not taking anything away from her. But do you feel like that's the overall attitude of like the average kid in the streets in Brooklyn? Is that the writing thing isn't really a concern anymore? Well, nah, not nah, in Brooklyn, Brooklyn. But Brooklyn. I'm talking about like with Instagram What's social. Fucking now? noise. <laughs> Fuck that fridge. We might have to unplug that fridge if it keeps acting up. Okay, what are you saying? Maybe not in Brooklyn or like anywhere where it's like maybe Compton. I don't know. You feel me? Where you have to, people kind of have that old school mentality. Mm-hmm. But it's a with social networking. It's global now, bro. So niggas don't care. I don't care what you think in Brooklyn, bro. Because I'm lit in Czech Republic. I'm lit in Canada, That's wherever. Fair. So Brooklyn don't have to jack you, bro. But you could be from Brooklyn. You feel me? Yeah. But you just gotta do what you have to do for your your family. You know what I mean? That's basically Ghost it. Niggas just want to make not, enough like, money to support their family. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. Niggas would be like, yo, we need like four slow songs for this. And it's like, I want them to sound like this. And you'd be like, 
You don't know how to write those type of songs, bro. Right. So you need to get somebody in on yeah. it. I feel yeah. like um, rap artists took, like, remember, like, like pop artists. Mm. Like, I don't know if Justin Bieber was writing this shit. Hell no. He wasn't. He was getting or, like, people. even Beyonce, I don't know. Beyonce doesn't pretend. She, Beyonce just did Amigos verse. Yeah. And then the, the reference track leaked, like, the same day. Exactly. <laughs> but, Future, like, Road. These, Future Road Drunk in Love, right? Oh. Yeah. Right, there you yeah, go. Yeah, whatever it is. Niggas don't yeah. care. It's about the song. Because when you put on your headphones, you're not really thinking like, oh, you know what I mean? Oh, mm -hmm. Now when you start saying, like, oh, I'm the best rapper in the world, that's different. Yeah, but yeah. If you just like being an entertainer, entertain, do what you got to do. Were you guys, even back then during those days, were you still on like the meme shit of just doing crazy ass shit in videos and just, just doing the crazy Hell stuff? Oh, yeah. Like, yo, I feel <laughs> like besides like Fat Trail... Like niggas was the first niggas wild and on that. to eat ass on, on in the videos and that shit. Was that was crazy. Bro, Fat Trail used to be doing that. That yeah. was my Slutty Boys forever. Even watching that on Instagram and shit, I was like, yo. I didn't know like you could when, do like, that. Lil Pump had like seven K. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Yo, yeah, the bro. Fat Trail era, Lil Pump was definitely still in the womb. Yeah. Lil Pump, yeah. nah. Lil Pump has seven K on the gram. I kept saying. Yo, this nigga's next. Oh, <laughs> he's wavy. Yeah. And then everybody was like, I don't know, bro. He seems kind of like he's joking. <laughs> and I was like, that's why it's cool. Yeah. The and line between joking is, and is gone. Good yeah. music. It was good music. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's just like. But what was some of the shocking shit? There was like smoking PCP and doing heroin on camera was some of the shit that really stood out to me in the first place. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's just shock value. And it's like. Is everyday shit that people try to like push to the side. Mm. Like you from Bay Shore, yeah, heroin city. You feel me? Like Long in Island the suburbs, like the heroin fucking... city. Why wouldn't I show that shit? Everybody's heroin fucked up on pills and shit, huh? Bro, all my friends, Every type of shit. like all my okay. friends, die of like suboxone, mm. fucking <laughs> heroin. You know it's what I'm not saying? Funny, that shit's <laughs> <laughs> It's not funny though. Nah, it's morbid. <laughs> It's more been in here. But did you feel like, did that make you never want to try that shit? Or did it make you want to experiment? I don't know. <laughs> Why would I try that shit if all my friends are done? But I'm in a different mindset because I don't really do, do like drugs. So, mm. you know what I'm saying? I yeah. don't do any and like, drugs. To be honest, our family's so like junkied out. For real? Yeah. It's just, yeah, like, it's just not cool. We so are, you guys we... just smoke weed? I don't Whatever smoke the case. weed. You, you don't, don't do, do that. nothing. Know what I mean? Yeah, Shout out to our sponsor, Bear Woods. If you do smoke weed, it's the best weed in the entire this world. Uh, <laughs> he smokes weed. He smokes weed. Look at this shit. And drinks heavily. We got the fucking Jameson or the Jack Daniels on the table. I, I fuck around. <laughs> I fuck around. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm it's the nigga that the fuck around. Sleeze, you heard? Yeah, I, don't, I don't be going crazy, but I fuck around. It's not a fuck yeah. around. Fuck Fucking around. 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 Yeah, you're only young once. Yeah. All right, so um, even back then, though, like, who was sort of, like, creative directing the whole thing? Because that was one thing that stood out to me is that the videos were just insane. Us. It was just everybody? Mostly him. Video, shit. Him. It was just, like, scene, scene, scene. Yeah. And then we'd have, like, someone film it. Feel me? And then we got this dude over there. I don't know if they Anything that you see now, that's him. Mm -hmm. yeah. Especially he's, like, in, like, that's family. family. That's some so family it's shit going up, on. straight up, like, now you get to see, like, the real shit. Right. Shout out to my nigga Cisco. He shot the, yeah. the, the yeah, first he couple. shot the first three vids. Three. Shot yeah. by Cisco. Yeah. Yeah. If you were really family, you'd help us out with these flies that keep landing all over us. Mm -hmm. We're out here being terrorized, man. Spooky. Fucking, uh. It's hard. Yeah, Cisco shot all the other ones. Yeah. He, like, wrote, like, the treatments. Mm hmm And basically, we just, every scene needs to be good, so... It'll take a little longer. Yeah, we mad picky. Yeah. What were you influenced by? Because I noticed there was like a Street Fighter influence in some of them. Definitely some anime shit going on. Uh, Street Fighter and anime. <laughs> <laughs> I guessed it. Yeah. Nothing else though? Or like, what? what is it about Street Fighter? Fucking, I grew up on that shit and I'm like, what was like, fuck compared to you guys? It's just random shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, we'll get influenced by fucking natural born killers. We'll get influenced by any Quentin Tarantino film, any Guillermo del Toro, like, we get influenced by a lot of shit. We'll get influenced just watching like a documentary on like Cicada 3301. Like, mm -hmm. oh, that documentary is fucking fire. Like watching Cannibal Holocaust at home, watching the video nasties, mm -hmm. you know, like all that old cool shit. Yeah. Just watch that shit all day. You guys just got like sort of more in-depth tastes. What are, you, what are you into in terms of like the modern age of like stuff in terms of music or movies or imagery? Uh, Sadly... 
Nothing. I only like Guillermo del Toro's new films. Okay. So anything that he drops, I watch it. And music-wise, I've been listening to the same three albums for like two years at this point. So Which ones? Just, well, there's In Rainbows. What's that? Of Radiohead. Radiohead. Oh, okay. I, I think never got into like that. Oh seven. Okay. Yeah. Um, which is oh seven. They weren't really like at their peak. Their peak was the late nineties and like early two thousands. Right. I right, there's Floral Green, Title Fight, and oh. uh, Hyperview, Title Fight. Title Fight is my favorite band by far. Really? Yeah. Have you always been into hardcore? You've been going to shows for a long time or what? O D. We have you know, um uh Long Island has a yep. revolution. Yep. You ever heard of Incendiary? Nah. Fire ass band. I'm actually like I used to live with the singer and they're like an old school style hardcore band out there. We did an interview and that's like the only hardcore band I think we ever interviewed. Besides Blood for Blood, we did that too. I need to watch that shit. Yes. Yeah. I know hardcore bands be having the best like interviews. Incendiary is like one of them. They've been around for like over ten years in in Long Island. They're pretty fire. Yeah. I definitely, I stand for them hard. Um, but yeah, you still you still down to go to hardcore shows and shit? Od, like, you still do that? Od, I'm down for like hardcore punk, all that shit. Like we're super down. Do you feel like the worlds are ready to like overlap in terms of like hardcore and rap? Well, I, I think mean, they have to in a certain extent. Yeah, I think. Well, there was X brought it the closest we've ever gotten mm. other than like new metal because you know new metal and all that new metal kind of poisoned the water and made people not want to combine like, them for a long time corny. <laughs> yeah it was corny fred durst is all in it was I like this. shout out shout out fred durst you know fred it was very like once yeah. you just put the backwards hat on and you start going crazy it's just one of those days yeah nobody yeah. wanted to fuck with white people doing like rap metal after that for a long time and then okay. we had like, we had, like some 41 and shit that were like Post punk. When I, I think about Sum 41 it. now, I'm like, oh, this shit was cool. But at the time, it definitely was like, oh, this is the Cringy. worst shit. They're having, they're having a reunion crazy. tour. I love Sum 41. <laughs> they're having a reunion tour. You know what it was? They were kind. Of, they were super corny, and uh, like the foundation, the people who made like the stample. I said stample. The stamp genres like punk, metal. That mm. were like a definite name. They were like, who are these pussies who tried to fucking make it pop? You know what yeah. I'm saying? It was just like dudes who made trying to make it like pop, but I respect that because fucking cert all these like bands that like say that they're like so hardcore and shit, mm. y'all can't make a song that's fucking. And you don't remember the them. nobody talks about the bands that didn't exactly. really get popular, you know like, and even when we look at shit now, it's like you know yeah, there's a lot of like influential like rappers in the underground and stuff but at the end of the day those dudes would probably rather still have like careers rather than just being known for being yeah, super like original and hardcore, you know. You know what it is? You have to you have to respect it at the end of the day. But you also have to respect the fact that there's somebody out there morphing your music to an acceptable like ear. Yeah. So like if somebody like does this shit and is able to make it radio friendly, it's like you be trying to do it right now. You we know see what I'm saying? Happen. We see it happen all the time. Like yeah. fucking uh, you know, when I always think about like I was saying this the other day, and this will be controversial, but like Space Ghost Perk came out with this super dark image, exactly. this crazy ass sound. Right. The and, then, clan. and then we saw a lot of different people take like, you know, basically that energy and that style and like go forward with it. But then X came along and X exactly. basically took that. He was a star. He made a bunch of big hits. He kind of took a lot of that imagery and darkness. And boom, became the biggest fucking dude in that exactly. category. And people don't understand that. Like, it, that's a fucking skill in its own thing. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a fact. Everything is a skill. Everybody is in, like, a certain position because they have a certain skill. Right. I always look at Lil B, who I love. But then Lil I look B. at Rocky. And I feel like... Lil B came out and yeah, it was Rocky like Rocky was mad bass and people don't even fucking notice that. Like, you you had never bass. seen, you know, a dude like Lil B he comes out, he's wearing pink, he's dressing all crazy and shit. Then you had Rocky come out and he kinda did a lot of that stuff, but he was more of like a real celebrity. He wasn't yeah. as weird as Lil B. Kind of took a lot of that energy and just blew the fuck up off it, you know? Yeah, I met uh, Rocky at a Lil B concert. It's before ASAP Rocky. I met him at a Lil B concert. Oh, so you know him from that level. Yeah, That's Lil interesting. B's first concert in New York. He was sitting right next to me. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, he's he had like, the long the, hair. He had a perm. He's like, the yeah. bass guy's doing his thing. <laughs> <laughs> this dude is mad weird. That's cool. fire. All right, so w w would you say that you, the music was popping while you were still with 6 9 before the breakup, or was it still kind of just struggling along? 
Well, uh, it was a different time. Yeah. I can't even like. It's hard I feel to like even, it was like yeah, it's hard to gauge. It was building a um, like a little platform. You a know cult, I mean? a little yeah. tiny cult. Because that's how we go yeah. about everything. Like before, you make your little big song and all that. If you don't have fans, it's not really gonna go nowhere. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? All right. So we're just building that. If you don't have a core and you start off, you just die out. Yeah, you and, have a but, and when you die too. out, you want to have the cults. Why isn't Sin? I said in Sin. Why isn't Sin Clown Posse still like? Selling out their fucking shows, you know what I'm saying? Lifestyle. Because it's a fucking lifestyle. I they need that interview. Whole world. Insane clown exactly. that'd be Yeah, crazy. they just hit us up, up to that. do their festival, huh? but I fucking I forgot to DM them back. Dude, that would be tight. Yeah, that would have been wavy, but <sighs> I, I do it next year. Now. I'm gonna get in touch because I want to go to the gathering of the Juggalos. They ain't gotta pay me shit. I just want to go out and see what that shit is like. That's what I was saying. I was like, bro, you don't gotta pay me. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yo. yeah, yeah. I'm gonna dress already, my bitch up as a juggalo too. Exactly, Juggalette, right? sorry. Holy shit. <laughs> That's gangster. That's a perfect atmosphere to do crazy shit in. Yeah. Like, I was watching all their like the right documentaries. After I, like, yeah, right after I like got the DM, mm. I immediately like responded and he was like, damn, it took you like three days to get back or you booked somebody. Like, For real? Fuck, yeah. And they're just like, damn, I fucking, because I don't use my Twitter. Yeah. And people hit me up on Twitter. Damn. Yeah. That's just crazy. I have so many unread DMs. I probably got the, the insane cloud policy. Probably reached out to me. That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> they probably did. There's probably a big blue check. You know, they, yeah, the blue check is what yeah. you look for when you're scrolling through that That's shit, a fact. huh? You be in your request, like, where's a blue check? I don't see any. Right. People who aren't verified, they don't know. They don't know what they're missing out on with yeah. that because yeah. it just highlights your shit so I'm not much. Verified, you're not yet? Oh, you know. got it. You could do it for sure. Because, like, all you really need is, like, coverage. Like, this counts. Like, if somebody ever wrote an article about you, that counts. And then, like, have music on iTunes, that counts. Oh, like, it's lit. I'm almost there. You just got to get, like, one of your managers or some shit who got, like, the proper contact. I know I some kept, people. I kept, getting, uh, I kept getting dubbed because of uh, the graphic nature of my Instagram. Mm. And you guys have had videos deleted times. off YouTube and shit, too, right? Yep. Mad Three times. times. But we don't give a f- For the yeah. drug stuff? Dub, uh, drugs. Everything. But it's like it's for the culture, so <laughs> it's worth it. I don't it. give a fuck if I lose a million views. No, I, I respect that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because making you know art is it. more important at the end of the day. Yeah, you know what it is? That a million views that you lost, you didn't lose it because people still viewed it. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah, in a literal sense. It feels good to see that number sitting there, but just for to know that people actually experienced it is definitely like the more yeah. powerful thing. Yeah. Like people we like tr- we deliberately try not to look at numbers, bro. Right. That right. shit will drive you crazy. We just create that's that. Whatever the number is, it's the number. You feel uh, okay, so how did the fallout take place between you guys and Six Nine? I want to hear about this. Well, it's, basically, it's like two separate fallouts. Okay, yeah. you feel me? It's just like there's like a two sentence way we can put it. Like basically, he went to jail, bailed him out, all that. He went to jail and then you guys bailed him out? Yeah, all that. And then, like, he did some grimy shit with the money and started lying to us and all that shit. And then there was that. He started trying to line you? Oh, he started yeah. lying to you. He started lying to oh, us. Oh, okay. Fucking... What was it, like two grand or something? Like, yeah, it was like a lot of money for us at the time. I, yeah, yeah. Like, I feel it like, was like this, bro. A grand, a grand, a grand. It was like everybody, like, chipped in. Niggas was asking, like, the girls, like, yo. I need like that two hundred. Cause you guys were really tight like that at yeah. the time. Yeah, my little bro. Like mm-hmm. even till this day, like I don't got no problem with bro. Like that's my little man. You feel me? We had smoke because of personal issues. Mm. You feel me? But besides that, like we had bro like, six years. You feel me? Mm. Like, it's not that deep. But do you feel like it was just the kind of situation where a lot of times when somebody owes you money is when you find out like how hard they fuck with you because people will start making shit and it's up like and niggas is like niggas is struggling, bro. Like mm. we're not, I'm not from no fucking family that ever had money. You feel me? So it's like getting money was like hustling. We had we're getting this money through ways that we're not supposed to be getting it. So put that same energy back into me. You feel mm. me? So how did it go down when you guys split up? Like was there a confrontation based on it? Yo, bro. Yeah, bro, it's, it's all uh-huh. spooky. Him and my brother had an altercation, right? That was their altercation. I was living in Harlem at the time. Um, me and Six Nine knew each other way longer than Six Nine and my brother knew knew each other. So we had a different type of relationship. Mm-hmm. So I'm looking at Zilla like, that's my little brother. I'm looking at Six Nine like, that's my little brother. He calls me, yo, bro, I really want to work with you. Ah, 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 ah. I'm like, all right, cool. Unfortunately, I don't really want to work with you. 
I'm not gonna work with nobody at the point. I was like broken hearted just to see them two like mm. beefing with each other. You feel me? So he's like, I'm just like, yo, bro, you know the game because I've been with you for so long. Like you know the formula. I mean, I hooked him and Drew back up together because they had beef too. I'm like, run it up. Feel me? I'm already, I'm gonna get money regardless. I'm gonna be good regardless. He gets off the phone. Yo, I love you to death, bro. Like, all right, you feel me? Say that. I'm gonna call you again. I'm like, I right, bet. I get off the phone. I'm walking around my block just talking to him. We used to talk every day like that. Um, then I get off the phone and the nigga he go to Instagram and just start dissing motherfuckers crazy. I'm like, damn, like. We just got off the fucking phone. I just with got you. off the phone yeah. with you, bro. Why are you going to Instagram? You got my phone number. Like, we're cool. Yo, you a pussy this, you a pussy that. Bro, we you literally... know, and I know you personally. I know he's not like that. So I didn't take it personal, but it's just like that was just a nail in the coffin. Like, yo, literally there was a point where we standing in front of each other. It's like, yo, if we want to fight, we can fight and we'd be good. You know, when you fight somebody, like old school mm. fight, like, like a, you got your people. Yeah, even it never happens people, anymore. That's great. There's yeah, like a no, there's like a mutual respect people. after you like fight. You no matter if you lose yeah. or not, it's just like, all right, you my homie now. That's we could fact. we could fight right Either now. Either you he my said, homie or we just called you about the situation. He was like, nah, bro, you're too you're too young. And I was like, all right. Then and then he was like, like two I'll fight years you younger then. than him. He's like, I'll fight you then. And he's like, you too old. <laughs> And it was just like, all right, then then when then what's what's there to talk about, bro? We cool. Uh-huh. And it was just we dapped each other up, went home. I got. He's home. like, yo, I'm gonna come to your crib tomorrow morning. I'm like, I bet it was just like that. Yeah. Then the nigga go on the internet and turn into a mother a different nigga. Yeah. Right? He tried to like post like a video of me like in the tattoo shop. It was like me literally two seconds before I walked out, and he like cut the video before I walked out. To make it seem like oh, I was like scared answer. to come out. And I'm gonna oh, tell you yo, that. he said, I'm yo, the doors, that, he locked himself in and then opened the door and shut it real quick. Because the door wasn't fucking locked. <laughs> you, you literally pulled up, started screaming like this, and I'm on my phone. I'm like, all right, I'll call you back. Boom. And I walk out. Like, there was like that much of a window. And he like tried to like crop the video. It right. was really funny. And he, this is still early on in his career, so it's oh, kind of yeah. like you do you feel like he was just like shamelessly clout chasing at that point? Or yeah, like just yeah. trying to do all this crazy at shit? At that or what? point, I was yeah, just, just like, do, playing the internet anything. games like a lot of niggas do. And I, I ain't even mad at him for it. You know what I mean? He's like, still doing it. He's just doing it on a bigger level now, whereas he was doing it on some petty shit it's then, the same right? same formula that yeah. he's using. It's working for him, obviously. I mean, so. Yeah, fuck yeah. that though. Back to the morgue. Yeah, so then, okay, so the breakup takes place, then where do, where do you guys, like, how do you regroup, how do you reformulate the plan? The morgue. The morgue? Yeah, yeah, city morgue. That's what it was. Oh, okay. And he started making music. It was really at that point, bro, like, I had put in so much time with, 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 with um, bro, I'm like, damn, I'm not even doing this music shit no more, I'm already getting a little bit of chicken, I mean? Right. I was like, I ain't even. I was like, yeah, but I'm doing it. Yeah, then I'm. Um, you're helping me. So you had to stay with it because he was determined? Not re- I don't have to do shit, you feel me? <laughs> I just believed in him. You know what I mean? Then um, Sos had just came home. How how long you was in? Did 15 months. He did 15 months. You know I mean, we was, we was in contact the whole time. Uh, I'm, and I knew Sos. Like, I didn't know him personally, but I knew his name rung bells because I lived in Harlem. Mm. I'm like, out of any Harlem nigga, like, this is a name I keep hearing about niggas that really put in pain. You feel me? So... His mother owned the shop that I tattooed at. She's like, yo, my son raps. And the hmm. nigga walk in the shop. <laughs> huh. I'm like, I know, I don't know you, know this dude, but I know him. Oh. And I, like, he's the most, hmm. out of all these SoundCloud and even real gangster rappers, if it's like a life story, hmm. like, he has the realest story. So I'm like, I have to, I have to work with so. That's you feel a me? fact. What'd you do 15 months for? Uh, this time it's crazy because I've been I've been in that gym my whole youth, you feel me? So this time I got caught in a house raid and it was like some short shit like fifty grams of crack in the crib. I was out on bail for two years fighting the case and shit. You know what I'm saying? I knew I was going back to jail because of my record already. I got gun charges. I got one gun charge and all my shit is like drug charges. Like I like to sell crack, you know what I'm saying? That's like, you know what I'm saying? like so it's I like to so yeah, yeah, like my okay. hood is a gold mine for that. Passionate you know what I'm saying? about the crack. Shout out to <laughs> you're, 90... from, you're from Harlem? Yeah, I'm from Harlem. I'm from the Spanish Harlem, East Side of Barrio, oh, RP okay. Woozy. Um yeah, like I've heard my... Jim Jones say that about many times. East side of yeah, Barrio. Yeah, Jim is from the East. Okay. Shout out to Jim. 
But yeah, like my hood is a gold mine. That shit is a- <laughs> I like to sell crack. Is now my favorite yeah. thing that anyone has <laughs> ever said right on this podcast. Yeah, yeah. Like if you listen to all my raps, I'm talking crack. about selling crack. <laughs> I'm saying so. And people think that doesn't happen anymore. They think everything yo, got like, upgraded to the different other day, drugs. I think I forgot who asked me. Like, yo, niggas still smoke crack. I'm like, bro, <laughs> you go to my block right now, you are gonna make a fifteen two thousand in one day on some. Well, compa- doc- compare crack to meth because I thought meth kind of took over meth, the crack. Meth lane. is the new way, but in the hood, in the in New York City, in the projects, it's, it's crack still. Crack meth, meth is more like upstate New York. Oh, you know what I'm saying it's yeah, more like, like white uh, people. Yeah, it's like it's not really like in the hood. hood. New York's got a different energy. You got to do a different drug, yeah. or yeah, a classic yeah, drug. Yeah, crack yeah, has yeah, always yeah. been around there. Yeah. For, for every season, for like, every season, you know, they, say, they say crack is a seven minute high, so they need yeah. that shit. You feel me? Meth is like vaping. That's like the new high tech version yeah. of how to do something. That's not <laughs> like vaping. That's a t-shirt. <laughs> different shit. So like I did. Um, that did might the, have been the craziest thing said. Like that was pretty good too, right? Yeah. So I did my little fifteen months and my. I was talking to P every fucking day, bro. Like, I met him right before I went to jail. Like, you know what I'm saying? He was coming to my block. I met him, met him through my mom. This shit is crazy. Like, I thank my mom's every day. This nigga, <laughs> this nigga changed my life. You feel me? Like, I Wait, how'd you know his mom? He used to work at my, my mom's. Oh, at the shop. store. Oh, store. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so my mom's. He was working for my mom's and shit, like, tattooing and shit. And I just met him. We started fucking each other. He started coming to my block. I went to jail. Talked to him every day. I came home. Like, literally, like, my... I met Zilla my first day home from jail. The third day home, we was in the studio, and now we here. Oh, yeah. Like literally, it's that simple. Yeah. You know what I mean? yeah. Like we used to watch it. just on some shit. Hey. Yo, we used Whoa. to watch. No, <laughs> no, we like used to BMX watch niggas. the BMX podcast. Oh, that's crazy. When, like, Before Nate this Richter shit, bro. and like Brandon <laughs> Began and shit. He knows Nate Richter Everybody, by name. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody yeah. was like walling. You remember when we interviewed Black Man? Yeah, bro. <laughs> that's, my son, too, that's legendary yeah. New York shit right there. Yeah. Oh, Hell yeah. Fucking everybody. Like, that's when I started BMXing just because of it. I was like, I got a bike. I got the Brandon Began fit with the free coaster. Oh, we lit. Complete, I'm happy as fuck now. Yeah. And then, like, I sucked. <laughs> yeah. And then there was that. That Damn. adventure. Uh, then I went back to skating. Honestly, rap's where the money's at, not, 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 uh, not BMX. Yeah. But your, bro, your podcast. Well, like, Cancer literally, like, up the BMX community. All yeah. my friends got bikes. We still got the store, so we got the fucking bike sales going on in front, even though we ain't making them make BMX videos anymore. Fact. Now, this is going to be a popping podcast. Shit, people are going to fuck with this. I miss that shit. I think bro. people are going to like it because I've been, at, I don't why do you think it is that people, I feel like people just wanted to hear your story for a long time. Well, a lot of my, like, 90% of them never even heard me talk. Yeah, yeah. So. it's very super rare. Yeah, so, I don't we've talk. been turning down mad interviews. Yeah, like I mean, this is we was waiting for this one to be you, honest. What? Okay, let me let me ask you this: like in terms of just you as a person, what do you like? What was it that made you really like feel like you needed to keep at it with the music shit, even when you had like all these setbacks and all these things that sort of made you feel like you were starting over or whatever? Bro, I don't even know, bro. There was that one, bro. There was one point where I kind of like. It was literally him, to be honest. There was one point where I like didn't care, and I was just like, "Yo, you know what? Fuck this shit." Mm-hmm. And I didn't have a backup plan, so. I mean, what else niggas gonna yeah, do? We gonna go me? back to Travis on the mm-hmm. crack? So crack, yeah. yeah. I didn't Fuck have that. like any backup <laughs> plan whatsoever. It was like, "Yo, there's like no safety net." I dived in all the way, and I'm about to like either I fall off the fucking cliff, and or I take these little L's that I'm taking right now, so that later. I'm set. You know what I'm saying? Like, at that time, it was like, damn, bro, my girl broke up with me because I'm fucking broke. Like, <laughs> bro, dead ass. Like, dead ass. <laughs> We're going to get real. That's the like, shit that'll make you fucking inspired, though, right? I got, got That's no the shit money. that give you motivation. Yeah. Man. And then it's just like, you know what? Fuck that bitch. And then, like, we just tried to keep going and keep going. And then it was just like, damn, I'm going through the same shit. Like, and then, like, you go, like, two months later, you're like, bro, I'm lit, but I'm fucking broke still. Like, yeah. I'm on the gram, like, Looking crazy, but like, <laughs> I can't even get a fucking Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, yo, I'm looking for quarters in my fucking house. Like, yeah. But I'm lit on the ground. Yeah, but I got clout. You feel me? Like, yeah. But I got a K. I can't invite any bitch over my house. Right. But I don't, like, at that point, it was just like, fuck this shit. Let's go. So what what did you do when you were in those low moments where you're like, how the fuck am I going to get some money? Um, hmm. Just 
<laughs> yo, definitely finessing. Yo, just fucking, yo, we was just doing whatever we yeah. fucking could that wasn't like taking our dignity. Mm. Whereas, like, yo, we not working no job, but we're gonna find a way to get this money. Yeah, we nice. definitely finessed. Yeah. Like, you seen it, you know what I'm saying? We finessed that whole shit. Yeah. We came out of it on top. Yeah. Pause. Pause. Where do y'all feel like you're at in terms of like your career at this point and like how far along you are and what moves you think you need to make in order to get go, to the next level? If you go from 100% right now, we're at like five. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Big time. Because we didn't really start yet. We didn't even drop. We're rolling. And we we not have a really project. looking at it like everybody else. Every, I, I feel like people are rushing and mm -hmm. like trying to get these little like, I'm going to be so lit this year. Like we know our talent. Like that, right now we, should, we talking about shooting them up, bang, bang shit. This nigga can write anything this nigga could write anything it's just like kicking in the door and making a a 10-year plan opposed to a two-year plan it's weird like look what hove did with cole like as much as everyone says fuck j cole oh no 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 not on here yeah he's gonna, be around, he's gonna be around for a long time it's longevity, bro. Fuck that other shit, man. But what do you, what do you like? You have like a bunch of dope videos out and stuff. Like, what do you feel like is the next step, and what do you what are you really waiting for in terms of doing tape. that the right way? Well, we have we have a tape coming out. Just think like the end of this month. Okay. And then um, I don't know. I have, bro. I have. We have so much fucking music. I have so much music. He has so much music. Where do you record? Like solo shit everywhere, everywhere bro. And we just have like so much like. We have solo shit. He has like, we have shit that doesn't even sound like fucking like us. Like, yeah, we got all it's, it's experimenting. Hell yeah! And I it's got, like I got the songs that sound like the fucking Pixies. And then his solos coming out, and then Sosa's solos coming out. Then another more tapes coming out. It's yeah. gonna be real crazy. Hell yeah! Yeah. Are you doing the tape all on your own, or do you have like uh, any help from any kind shout of label? Out to Thrax, or? our producer. Yeah, shout out to he's because he's not here. He would have been wild right now. We, we got a label deal. I, I, I got the label. It's a 50 50 joint venture. With so, who? With Republic. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. When did that come into play? Re super recently. But, like, they can go sign independent deals. Uh -huh. They only sign for, like, a group. Like, okay. he could go get another deal. He could get, they're independent. I, yeah. I, Shout I out signing your life away. <laughs> Raping you records. Shout out to <laughs> we $2,000 in we signed a Honda yeah. Accord. We signed to every rapper. <laughs> $2,000. Any rapper, we got $1,000 for you. Is that the we move? We your masters. Is that the move to like sign as a group so then you can do shit on your own as well? Uh, it's um, all in your lawyer, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, if you yeah. know what you're talking about and you got a good lawyer, you can get what you want. Like we, We're in a great, great, great place. 50-50, right. bro. Most most rappers get what? 70? Oh, 80-20. Yeah, most rappers get 80-20. <laughs> we get 50-50. Yeah. That's what's up. So... Man, that's crazy though. I'm excited for the tape. What do you feel like you need to do in terms of like what kind of impression you need to leave with this tape? Like in terms of what what we about to this is this is basically a battering ram, mm. and like this is just like to hit the door open, and then like the solo tapes are like the the ARs following yeah, like, it, clearing out the rooms. Bro. Mm. Yeah, this first tape gonna set the tone. Really like, you know what I'm saying? They've been waiting for a tape. We got a bunch of shit on SoundCloud. We only got three videos. This tape gonna set the tone for the sound. Oh, shit, I keep fucking. You know what I'm saying that, and it's crazy. Zilla created this sound. You feel me? Right. I'm uh, just. Yeah. It just put me on. You know what I mean? Like real <laughs> shit. Like, yo, I came home. Crack I came home. Stuff. He like, yo, bro. And I sold crack on it. The nigga Zilla so ill. I came home. He like, yo, bro, rap like this. You could rap. Do these flows. You lit. I just listen to P, listen to Zilla, and I'm we here now. Why you got a picture of Sosa up here though? That's no, that's Nate Richter, Richter actually. Uh, <laughs> that's Nate. Why you got have shit hat shaved, dude? Though? I will fucking link to this, to this photo in the description or something. But Nate Richter for a minute thought that he was like an EDM DJ or some shit, shout so he shaved the sides of his head and just had this long yeah, hair yeah, swept over. Shout out to Nate Richter. That's my twin Yo, brother. Fuck with <laughs> Yo, fuck real talk. Yeah. Oh my god, he's gonna be so happy. Everybody go search Nate Richter on YouTube and subscribe to his channel because he's. he's He's always pissed off. You don't have enough subscribers. So yeah, go watch his blog. Bro. <laughs> That's so small. I, um, big bro. I do kind of look like him before the face test and everything. Yeah. He be yeah. fucking <laughs> sending it, bro. He's a fucking Nate? Yeah, yeah. He go hard. Yeah. He skate, oh, I said the skates. He rides for a stranger. Yeah, yeah. 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 He's he's, he's a Hispanic legend out here. Uh, <laughs> shout out Nate. He was here earlier. Um, damn. So I, okay, but you know, I was just thinking about like, do you feel like? At the end of the day, even though it was probably like pretty crazy to see this dude that you used to work with like blow the fuck up, that that still creates more of an opportunity for you. 
Like his shit has gotten so much bigger that it's like you like people are interested. Like you just yeah, have even is, more bro. of an opportunity. I never like first of all, I never use anybody for fucking mm. to get anywhere. We're not cloud chasing. I only, I'll, I'll only if you notice, I haven't collabed with anyone except for like it's okay to cry. Like low key else? niggas. Yeah, like, niggas, niggas who I've been like, yo, I've been fuck with your music, and I want to like. Have a sound with you. We just dropped a if, video for him, actually. Yeah, he's cool. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's the fuck homie. with him, bro. Fuck with, with, yeah. We're he gonna sent have us more a crazy shit. Beat pack too. Yeah, that's okay. some underground shit right there. But him, he's uh, gonna yeah. like niggas like him. Like, I'm never gonna use a nigga just because. Oh, he has a mill on the gram. Oh, mm. I'm gonna. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it Shit, I might have. Uh, nah. I would like never use a nigga just because he has like a million on I the did, gram and know, he doesn't make good music. <laughs> right. Everything's for the music. Fucking Everything's fly. for fucking this makes sense. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's important because a lot of people really do get those crazy ass opportunities to just do some bullshit with some weirdo at this point, right? In fact. Where it'd be like a nigga will just hit them like, like they'll just like keep hounding for like one feature that doesn't make any fucking sense. Mm. Like, chase. why are you making you make this metal shit, but you're gonna go try to collab with some nigga who doesn't know shit about it, right? And you only know how to make this sound. Like, even doesn't with make Nar. sense. Like me and Nar got some shit. But that's cause niggas Did like you just Nar. meet him today? Because I seen him. I seen him on your story today. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We seen him again today. Oh and, uh, okay. We met him We've this been... week though, like in person. Oh nice, nice. Yeah. But That's fine. No, nah, we met him. We met him. We met him all the way in South by. We, Actually, I could see you guys working good together. That'd be really interesting. I'd like oh, to hear we, all we that. We met him in South by. Everybody else was blackout drunk, but but you hmm. weren't, and he wasn't. No, nah, I don't think I don't think he does anything either. I, I, I think, think he, he just smokes mad like loud. He drink a little yeah. activist here and there. Yeah, <laughs> sips the good stuff. Yeah. yeah, me and him. We met at South by him. It was him and Germ. Yeah, yeah, Germ is the like, best. Yo, Germ oh, is that nigga, Germ bro. Germ is a beast. Germ is I watch like, Germ's Instagram story just because I like the way his voice sounds. That's a fact. <laughs> you know he got a cool voice. He voice sounds from? like a... Yo, we, <laughs> was, we was in the hotel like, yo, why does this Germ like, sound like we don't know like what region he's from? I don't like, know anyone else who sounds like that. That's yeah. a fact. Germ or... <laughs> he's cool. just Germ. Yeah. But yeah, we met Germ and Nar and who else we met that day? We met Mad Niggas that day at South by. Mm. And them niggas, we fuck with them OD, so it was just like, yo, when we when we in the same state, we linking every time. Like we can record. Yeah. Now that I know like, you're cool. Yeah, now that I know that you can pull up to the stool, and I'm not going to be sitting there like, oh, this fucking... fucking lame. Have yeah. you had that problem? Nah. No? If we did, we wouldn't share who yeah. it was. <laughs> That's <laughs> yeah, a yeah. fact. I mean, but, you guys seem kind of like, even with the, the whole 6 9 thing, you could easily be sitting here saying, fuck him, blah, 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 acting all crazy, but you guys are actually seem like you're like not yeah. trying to well, make like it some crazy before, shit. Bro, like... His situation with Six Nine is different from like my situation. I'm happy for Six Nine because I knew his mother, I knew his brother, I know where he came his from. His dog. I know his dog. Like I know oh. his, Yo, shout his out best Titus. friend. His old best friend is like now my best friend. You feel me? So like, of course, throughout whatever we went through, of there's something in me that's like, damn, like little bro doing his thing. Yeah. He never dissed me ever. Ever he said anything me bad about me, man. but he said yeah. about Zilla, but that's my brother. Yeah. So we can never be cool again, cause that's that's just a cold. Like I, I mean, I'm not gonna knock you out, none yeah. of that type of shit. But that's just a cold. Now we can't be cool, and I can't make you and Zilla cool, cause right. you you took it too far. You took it to some internet where whatever yeah. problems y'all niggas had could have been we could been squashed, yeah. but you took it, it there. Simple. Yeah, and we're not like cloudy type of niggas, so we don't care. Like, all right, great. We clap and we play your play your music. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. But yeah, we probably never be cool. You think that he thought that he was never gonna have to hear from you guys again because he blew up and then now you guys have no jumper and he's he like, does, damn bro, it. He does said that to me in like the DM to like. Well, like I'm never gonna have to hear shit from you. Yeah. He yeah. was like, y'all niggas never gonna blow up. But he knows our talent. Like, That's why he stays like. Bro, he watches all my stories. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's on it like yeah. a hawk. You feel me? But he know he know me. I'm a beast. He know. These two niggas is beasts. Yeah. So. I mean, he either it's the like fucking dream team. We got the dream team. Spooky. I'm not sure if he hates me, but he at the very least like does not fuck bro, with me. You no, know he like, doesn't. Bro, you know he question, does. Though. What? Well, how is how is you and his relationship? Because more than likely, it matched what happened with me and him. 
trippy in him. It's the same, like... Yeah, bro. I mean, we were cool. We met. He showed me his stuff. And then, like, there was... But this is my thing. Is that there was a Montreality interview recently where he was like, I'm 22, no jumper. Didn't want to see me come up. It's like... I gave you an interview when you had 60,000 followers. Like, I gave you an interview way before anybody else Yo, was giving you, you a chance. Hear it, bro? Let's hear it. He uh-huh. has this thing where he doesn't remember anything you did for him ever. Mm. So you could, bro, you could save his fucking mom from a train. You know what I'm saying? House fire. From Yeah, from a house fire. From like, like you can untie it from like the moving train like a fucking. Like Superman. Like, yeah. <laughs> like Superman. And he would be like, that nigga <laughs> never did shit for me with a straight face. Mm. Yeah, you'll like just be like, you'll just be looking around like, wait, hold up, this nigga just said I never did shit for him. Like in the house, it was just like, nigga, you don't do nothing. Yeah, and it's like, nigga, I write all the fucking songs. What I'm not sure. I'm nigga? not sure why he even like doesn't like me at this point. Aside from two things, is that number one, I think he doesn't fuck with me because I stopped. Like talking to him during the shit when he first had those accusations come out all crazy when first, people first found out about his court case, yeah. then I like kind of fell back because I was like, damn, he didn't talk about that on the podcast. I don't know if I want to like really like I felt kind of weird about that. Like maybe he it was weird that he didn't talk about it on the podcast and then it came out afterwards. And then also like I made a video where I was talking about Zan and Pump and uh, Trippy. Uh, talking about how good they were doing and like just a general overall thing. It wasn't, and then he was pissed that he got left off it, which I thought was weird because it's like, you know, yes, you did definitely come up and I definitely probably should have remembered to put you in that list, but like, are you so insecure that you're thinking about that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, That's what it is. It's just insecurity. Yeah. Real rap. So, but it's never no hate shit on like our side. We're not haters. So, yeah, we family over here. Yeah. This is family. That's good. Yeah. We're just out here drinking Arrowhead, man. Any uh, shout out, Adam. smoking bear woods, Arrowhead. drinking arrowhead. Yeah, he got them joints stacked up. You really sponsored by them, <laughs> or you just scoffing, right? Arrowhead? Yeah. No. Uh, I just love the product. I was I, I was helping you with the product placement. <laughs> I like that. I think it's good, man. They need to know. They got to cut the check, or else we'll have some Fiji yeah, up Jack, here. Jack Daniels got to cut his check. Fact, we need some Fiji. Jack Daniels, they could just send a case of that shit over here. We'll be in lit, man. These flies and are taking you. over the planet in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck. All right. What else do we need to know before we wrap this up? We're damn near an hour. Hour? Yeah, well, Almost an hour, hour yeah. Time, it always flies. I don't know. I don't I don't ask the questions. You ask the No, questions. yeah, but Get I just some music cool shit. Yeah, yeah. I just want to know about like the fucking music and what you guys got coming and what the big the big fucking plan is. Anything in general with the All what's right, to well, come. We created this. We created this cool <laughs> little thing. I don't know what it is. It's not called trap metal. I'm not jacking that. Okay. Yeah. It's not it's not trap music. I didn't get it's not metal music. It's need those are neither of the influences, so I don't get how it even got that name. Mm-hmm. So yeah, there's that out the way. Just to throw that one out there. So that's not the genre's name. That is vibration. not the genre. Okay. Yeah, it's just it's literally those are niggas who scream. Right. If you just scream, don't. That's not metal. You don't like this was fucking. We made this from influences of hardcore and punk. Right. And then like Onyx and DMX, who Onyx was fucking hardcore before, yeah, yeah, before they were even labeled hip hop. Right. Everybody thought they were fucking hardcore. Early influence for sure. Exactly. Yeah. So like Onyx and X, <laughs> and you do you hear any trap in that? You know what I'm saying? We just mm. put the hi hat tick. Yeah, yeah. If, if you want to call that trap, it's modern. Yeah, it don't sound modern unless it's the 808. It's a fact. I'm listening to Kanye album. If I'm, I'm like, using some drums, yeah. then my shit sound out of date. Kanye album sounds old because of the drums. Exactly. You know, if they put an 808 on all those fucking guitar samples and shit, it would sound totally different. But the only thing is, he can he can play on them shits probably Mm. on the pad. Yeah. He can play on them shits on the beat pad. He's lit. Shit looks crazy. Oh yeah. Especially at shows. But yeah, we got the tape coming out, the Morgue tape. More crazy videos. Which is Miso's Thrax, Volume One, and we got what else? We got my solo tape after that, which I don't have a date for it, but just know there's a lot of songs in it and a lot of stuff going on with that one. Oh, yeah. Which, Giving the fans what they want. Yeah. What do you feel like the fans always want to know about you that maybe you haven't put out there? Like anything in particular? I don't fucking know. Yo, they don't. They, they ask me mad questions. In the DMs, I'm sure there's always, a lot of repetitive questions, right? stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but, it'll be like, but it's always like just some regular shit like where you get your clothes why you have so many guns what's this <laughs> you know what I'm saying it's just self-incriminating questions mm-hmm. it's just like are you a cop I hate 
just I, I would be perfectly happy to answer questions from kids but every question they ever asked me i'm like god damn it do i really have to answer this again like yeah, I, 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 I talk about this shit all the time yeah, you gotta just remember that they're like bro yeah. like, this kid's like 11 like, yeah yeah and he wants to know why i have so many guns and drugs right yeah and he wants to know where i get them they're fake stay yeah. away kid that's it. simple <laughs> that's a fact yeah. they're fake officer <laughs> <laughs> all right shit i think this is very educational Right, so, Smooly, you want to tell us anything before we go? I mean, sleazy. Sleazy. The mug tape coming this month. We about to go crazy, bro. Like, we about to go crazy. It's <laughs> really not. I don't got shit to say. I'm ready. Shout out to, like, the niggas who reached out. Shout out Black yeah. Cray, okay. too. Black yeah. Cray. My nigga Cray. Black like Cray, very underrated underground legend. He's a legend. Oh, he had Black a new Cray. jumper, too. He that did. Very good point. I haven't watched it yet. I'm That's watch my it. guy right what there. What was it? It was, it was Black Cray. It was a goth money. It, we did a Black Cray one, and then we did a Goth Money one. But the Black Cray one was first, and that one was lit. That was like, because yeah. it was mad. Like, he came alone. It was like early as fuck in the day. When I think about that, that's so weird that that's we did that. Fact. I yeah, fuck with Black Cray. So yeah. cool to have that. Actually. Whenever he's in New York, he is over our house. Yeah, he's For real? in our yeah. crib. Oh, that's fine. Man, we Every got like three songs with him. Yeah. Uh, they about to, we about to go crazy with bro. Every now and then I see some like younger rapper like realize that Black Cray is like amazing and legend, that they bro. fucked up by ignoring Man, bro, him. Bro, like. When he was like, when he first came out, niggas was already bumping him. Yeah. In the house, so it was. Is the Black Cray name gone and now he's like Crash Ra Sick yeah, Rari? Rari. I mean, it's both. Sick Boy yeah. Rari. Sick it's Rari. always Black Cray, though. It's yeah. always Black Cray. I call him Rari because I yeah. like Rari better, but yeah. that's crazy. You know I, mean? I know about fucking seven rappers named Rari. So. Mm. You remember Rari, the singing dude? Oh, yeah, Rari. Rory. Rory from yeah, the Double yeah. XL cover. I don't like calling him Rari. I call him Black Cray. Yeah. I call him Cray. Yeah, that's my Rory song. with that weird hat. Shout yeah, out to Insomniac song, Rory too. God's I like him. That's yeah. a video good. too. A video OG. was crazy. Hell yeah. He does song he had a video with Key and I always wondered if Key wrote the rap. Key. Key, Fat Man bro. Key is the the goat. You Key know about Key? He's an underrated. Yeah, we nigga. was with Key. Um, we had a show on NYC, Webster Hall. We oh, was with Key. Shout out Key. Shout you heard that new tape you put out? Rose. Nah. I ain't listening Dude, to Dude, Kenny Beats. Nah, he went crazy on that tape. He went crazy. He was wilding. Wild out on that tape. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you want to you want to get plugged with Kenny? I could do that for yeah, sure. Yo, he's Send a cool a ass pack. dude. Send a pack. I'll do that sex right. Yeah, we got yeah. shit with Ronnie. Yeah. Oh, that's hard. We got some spooky yeah. shit with Ronnie. We about to leave here and go lock in with Chapo right now. So. Oh shit, gang, gang, gang. Chapo? Yeah. yeah, for real? Just yeah. out, out back, we just like yeah, yeah we were just like yeah, you want to come? Oh, that's beautiful. See, we making connections over here. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I need a bar. No, we, we've been DMing Chapo. Right. So you've been yeah. DMing him. DMing we've been me. like, you sing the song. No, we you sing just, the song. We was just with him at yeah. Cray, <laughs> Cray Show, <laughs> right. NYC. So that's yeah. when we really solidified it. We seen them at the show. So we finally got to meet in person. You guys are underground legends right, all together. You gotta do it. FTP, they just gave us mad shit. Oh, no. Shout out Zach. He Love said, Zach. Shout out Zach. Yeah. I fuck with Zach. FTP, the realest, the best brand in the business. I fuck with FTP. Cool, cool niggas too. We, you know, I'm gonna just say some offensive shit that he probably don't even want to hear. But where are we having the conversation? I'm like, I feel like FTP is the only brand from our generation that 10, 15 years from now could be looked at like a supreme. Oh that hell, that's exactly, me, bro. Bro, that's the only streetwear that brand head, that I respect I right now. Because it's kind of like too much. Because yeah. anything could happen. But when I look at the moves they make, yeah. that's the only brand that I'm like, holy fuck, they move so slow and rare, and they just Dirt. don't do any fuck shit. Yeah. Bro, that's yeah. the only. Zach is ahead of his time. Yo, that's yeah. the only streetwear brand where you can respect every single move that they make. Every they don't move. do one corny thing. No fuck like, shit. Yeah, where it's like, why the fuck would you collab with him? Too. That's ridiculous. Yeah, we've seen a lot of wavy shit. I bet actually, I bet that. And I fuck with it because like the fucking warehouse is so like cozy. It's not no fucking. Mm. I never actually machine. been over there. I got to go over there. Yeah, it's not no fucking big ass like you machine. Should collab, FTV. That was one of the rarest oh, early No Jumper interviews right there too. With Zach in the middle of the day, just him with a mask on. He had a mask on. Yeah, I gotta watch that. he didn't want people to see his face back then. They still haven't seen his he's face that many times. Yeah, he still don't show his face. I think the yeah. best No Jumper I ever seen to me was um, Suicide, Suicide Boys. Oh, there and you X, go. Of course, but Suicide. Yeah, that shit was. Gully. I love that one, but isn't it so crazy that we set the camera up wrong so you can't even see their faces? You just see germs sitting there all bored, just like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I fuck with Jeremy. And Jeremy's not a looker, so no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's like me and the Suicide Boys are having these like in-depth conversations about like race and like white privilege and shit, but you can't even see their you faces. See you just see Germ sitting there not saying anything. You know I mean? Yeah, that's a fact. Artistic. Germ, the nigga who doesn't care about any of it's that It's a statement. Shit. Yeah, he's just yeah, like, what? I don't care about any of that <laughs> shit. For real. All right, yo. 
Sick. This is big for New York City. I'm glad that we did this. City Morgue, Zilla Comedy Shows, Moolah, this shit coming soon. Finally. Are we going crazy? Super rare, No Jumper. You already know. Facts. No Man. Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. Check us out on YouTube, SoundCloud, iTunes, and go get yourself a Bearwood. Kill these flies. Gang. <laughs> Yo,